We begin, George, with that urgent search right now for the gunman who shot two Los Angeles Sheriff's deputies in an ambush, the brazen shooting captured on a surveillance camera. Our chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, joins us now from Los Angeles with the very latest on that. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Amy. Both of those deputies are now recovering after surgery at this hospital behind me. They're now in stable condition. Both of them were shot in the face in that brazen attack you just mentioned. Now, overnight, the L.A. County Sheriff telling me he has every available resource thrown into trying to apprehend that gunman, including the assistance of the FBI. This morning, that massive manhunt for the gunman who ambushed two Los Angeles Sheriff's deputies walking up to their cruiser and unloading multiple rounds before fleeing on foot. Stand by for a GSW be a deputy involved. At the blue line. One deputy was hit four or five times. The other one was hit at least three times. So it was quite a few rounds. The deputies, a 31-year-old mother of a six-year-old and a 24-year-old, were both sworn in only 14 months ago. And somehow, though shot through the jaw, the female deputy tends to her partner. And she goes around the car, applies a tourniquet to him to stop the bleeding. She gets on the radio and she's calling for help, but she's having a hard time because she can't speak very well. So you can hear the voice of that. They're both rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Your patient was transported by sheriff's en route to local trauma center. Protesters gathering at the hospital to heckle the deputies. One protester live streaming the event. Protesters heard taunting the injured deputies. I hope they Tensions have been soaring in South L.A. since sheriff's deputies shot and killed this man, Dijon Kizzy, on August 31st, firing 15 shots at him. Since then, there have been nearly nightly protests at the local sheriff's station. Overnight at his Las Vegas rally, President Trump responding to the shooting. Tonight, our thoughts are with the two sheriff's deputies in Los Angeles who were fighting for their lives when a vicious criminal walked up to their vehicle and shot them at point-blank range. And this morning, the sheriff telling us they're concerned about additional attempts on officers' lives. It's going to cause us to be a lot more concerned about when we approach vehicles when we're out there on the streets. We have everybody paired up in two-man vehicles now, so we're going to have to be watching out for each other's back out there on the streets. So what you have here is a situation in which one of the largest law enforcement agencies in the country is increasingly on its guard during a time of heightened tensions and nearly nightly protests here. Now, community leaders here in Compton have roundly condemned the shooting, and it should be mentioned there is now a $100,000 award leading to the apprehension of this gunman or accomplices. Robin. And hopefully they will be found soon, and we're thinking of those two deputies and wanting them to make a full recovery, Matt. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.